My name is Laurel Rosenhall. I'm the Sacramento Bureau Chief for the LA Times. And today I'm going to break down the five biggest takeaways from California's new state budget. Governor Gavin Newsom's proposal to streamline the process of building infrastructure projects in California was the most hotly contested piece of his budget negotiations with the legislature this year. In the end, they landed on a compromise. Newsom won some changes he wanted to reduce delays big projects can face due to legal challenges under the state's landmark Environmental Quality Act. Lawmakers won by ensuring the new changes won't apply to the massive tunnel Newsom wants to build beneath the Sacramento-San Joaquin Delta to transport water to the south end of the state. Newsom and lawmakers agreed to renew a tax on managed healthcare organizations known as the MCO tax to fund Medi-Cal at a time when the state is making health care available to all low-income immigrants, regardless of their immigration status. The tax is expected to generate $19.4 billion from 2023 through 2027. Doctors and other Medi-Cal providers have long argued that low reimbursement rates for services reduce access to care. The new budget provides the first reimbursement rate hike in years and adopts a faster timeline to spend the money than Newsom proposed in May. Despite early pushback from lawmakers who said there wasn't enough detail in Newsom's plan to renovate San Quentin State Prison into a rehabilitation center, the final budget includes the money Newsom wanted, roughly $380 million to reconstruct certain parts of San Quentin. The plan calls for completely revamping the prison into a facility that focuses on job training and other programming to better prepare people for re-entering society in a way aimed at reducing recidivism rates. San Quentin's transformation builds on Newsom's larger initiative to overhaul the state's criminal justice system, which he began with an executive order in 2019 that temporarily halted the death penalty and shut down the prison's execution chamber. This budget includes a major win for low-income families that receive state assistance to pay for childcare. Currently, families earning more than 40% of the state median income have to chip in a monthly fee toward their childcare on a sliding scale, ranging from $36 to nearly $600 a month. The fees for childcare can make up up to 10% of their monthly income. The New Deal will waive fees for all families earning less than 75% of the state median income and cap all fees at 1% of monthly income for families earning more. After a substantial lobbying effort by urban transit agencies and Democratic lawmakers from San Francisco and Los Angeles, the final agreement provides California transit programs a budget of $5.1 billion over four years. Newsom had wanted to cut transit funding by about $2 billion, but lawmakers convinced him to scrap that plan. In an effort to prepare for potential budget cuts in the future, lawmakers have introduced a separate plan to increase tolls on seven state-owned bridges in the Bay Area by about $1.50 to generate about $180 million annually from 2024 through 2028. To learn more about the state budget, please subscribe to the LA Times. I'm Laurel Rosenhall in Sacramento.